wife of the PDP presidential candidate Amina Titia Atiku, says more women and girls in Nigeria will leverage the advantage of a foundation, the Watcliffe, to achieve their full potential. She urged Nigerians to vote her husband, Atiku Abubakar, into office to fast track the process. This was at a book lunch in Abuja on challenges of rape in Nigeria, authored by Usman Al Haji Lawan. Let's hear from Salwal Khalil Ibrahim. <laughs> A portrayal there by parents of a three-year-old who was raped by their 70-year-old neighbor. The experience is better imagined. The challenges and solution of what is described as a cankerworm in the contemporary society is contained in a book, Rape Challenges in Nigeria, which is also translated in Hausa language. This book should make its way into each and every single one of us's hands in this room because it will help us in redirecting and reshaping the futures of you the young ones as young girls with the great dreams of becoming doctors lawyers engineers have seen their dreams being scattered and taken over some rifles we cannot provide a single figure of such cases so i'm happy today by launching this book today we set a milestone to that rep 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 even you see fathers raping their daughters we would allow that to continue and continue so every person will have to put in his or her effort to make sure that this cantorum is stopped the book is dedicated to wife of PDP presidential candidate Titi Atiku Abubakar in recognition of her effort as an advocate against human trafficking for over two decades. The book is a campaign guide against rape and rapists and will be distributed free of charge. Salwa Khalil, NTA News.